the loss of Gronkowski coupled with the rise of Colin Kaepernick on Saturday night in a playoff game cuts in to the Patriots' edge over the 49ers in the Super Bowl that I predicted before the season started. That's just my take, but, but I say I still favor the Patriots slightly. But Colin Kaepernick was beyond phenomenal on Saturday night. And I just have one question for Jim Harbaugh. Jim, what took you so long? <laughs> well, 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 you and I argued about this. And it, it took four games before Jim Harbaugh finally committed outright to Colin Kaepernick as the starter for the San Francisco 49ers. And I said to you on air, after the Bears game, and then after the game at the Saints, which, which was no walk in the park at New Orleans, that he had earned the right to have the team handed to him. And you said, well, no, because Harbaugh kept saying they're kind of co-starters. We have two starters at quarterback, Alex Smith and Colin Kaepernick. And it was always Alex Smith was listed as the 1A over the, the 1B was Colin Kaepernick. And y you know what I've loved about this kid all along? He gets even better after a blunder, as we saw at St. Louis with that wild pitch, and then he came right back with a big completion after that, big long run. And w th we saw it in New England. When New England rallied all the way back, what did he do? Threw it out in the flat to Crabtree for a big score. And Stephen A., after that the fourth play of the game Saturday night, he throws a pick six. W would that not have crushed most first-year starters? Yeah. Just crushed them. And, and they would have been in the tank the rest of the game, trying to claw their way out. You heard and what uh, Harbaugh said to him. When he came back, he said, there's a lot more football left. Don't worry <laughs> well, about it. <laughs> un un unfortunately for his Packers, that was exactly the case. Yeah. Because before we knew it, 20-yard run for a touchdown. Before we knew it, it was another big completion, another bigger, another bigger, bigger. And he put on one of the great individual quarterback shows we have ever seen. Obviously, he ran more for more yards than any quarterback's ever run for, 181 yards. Mm -hmm. So in the end... This should have been done a long time ago. I felt sorry for this kid having to fight with Alex Smith because he, he doesn't belong in the same sentence with Alex Smith. And yes, he obviously, clearly, as you would say, gives the 49ers a much better Super Bowl shot. First of all, <clears throat> I've never co-signed on the old adage, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. I'm going to try to teach you a little son, oh. Skip Bayless, mm -hmm. because, you know. Are you calling me an old dog? <laughs> <laughs> affectionately, affectionately, okay. Here's the deal, man. You know, you don't always have to sit there and give somebody the house. Or, you know, you know the, the little kid that wants a bicycle, you, you, you try him with training wheels first. You understand? That's the way it goes. You let somebody crawl before they walk. There was absolutely, positively nothing wrong with... Harbaugh deciding, I'm going to put Kaepernick in, but let's see how you are going to conduct yourself under this cloud of adversity. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm going to put you in the start lineup. You were a second stringer. You were somebody that wasn't getting any playing time. Then you were getting minimal playing time. And now after that, you've shown me a little something, so I'm going to put you in the start lineup. But in the process of putting you in the start lineup, what I want to see is how you are going to do under the rest. Because guess what? That's what Alex Smith had to deal with. That's what an abundance of quarterbacks in the NFL have to deal with. The perspective of somebody being able to be inserted in the event that their productivity mm -hmm. is sorely lacking. Okay? So to sit there and say that Kaepernick should have just been thrown to the wolves and, oh, by the way, you know what? You've got, you've got a cushion. You've got a net waiting under you. No matter how long, no matter if you fall or not, you got the job. Don't worry about it. Is ridiculous. Harbaugh handled this perfectly. What he did was he dangled Alex Smith in the wind for weeks. It's possible. I haven't made a definitive decision about who my starting quarterback is. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Even Vernon Davis signed off on that because he was more supportive of Alex Smith because he knew he'd get more touches. But what happens? Kaepernick, under duress, showed you his medal, showed you what he was made of. Didn't stop him from sneaking up to join in Seattle. Near the end of the regular season. I but think the whole show just stunk yeah, it up. I, in Seattle. Yeah, but he's a part of it. He's a part of it. He was the quarterback. He was on the center when that happened. But still in all, he came back, handled his business, showed up in a playoff game. Nothing short of a sensational performance. He deserves a lot of credit, but Harbaugh handled it right. We still disagree on that. Now let's get to the game. Yeah, I know Kaepernick was impressive. 20 yard run, 56 yard run. 
you know, read option. Guys don't even got their back turned, don't even know you're running down the field with the football for crying out Clay Matthews. It was, it, hey, Clay, wake up. It, there he is. It was, it, was very, it was very embarrassing. But need I remind you, and we'll get into Aaron Rodgers Yes, later. we will. Yes, we will. Yes, I can't wait. I want to bring this up. I want to bring this up. Yeah, Kaepernick was impressive. 579 total yards, Green Bay's defense allowed. 323 yards rushing, Green Bay's defense allowed. Second most points in the playoffs in franchise history allowed. What did I tell you about the Green Bay's defense coming into this game? When I talked to you about not picking the Green Bay Packers, despite the bad man that I think Aaron Rodgers is, why did I say that? Because I have no faith in Green Bay's defense. And sure enough, like the Dallas Cowboys, they didn't disappoint because they stunk. Okay, now Kaepernick. Did you just compare the Packers to the Cowboys? Defensively? Yeah. I think that defensively they are an accident. Waiting and, to happen? No, no. They are an accident. They're just an accident. They're just an accident. Yeah. Green Bay needs to do something about their defense, okay? And we knew this coming into the game, which is why we knew San Francisco was going to win this game. That's why we both picked them. We knew that this defense couldn't hang with the San Francisco 49ers because Green Bay's defense stinks, and they showed it. Kaepernick had a field day because of it. More power to him. But let's put things in perspective, okay? The fact is, look at who he was playing against. As I recall, my friend, it seemed like <laughs> earlier in the week, last week, you were leaning toward picking your Packers to win this game. Am I right about that? Yes, and then I came the same day I said, but I can't bring myself to do it because I have no faith in their defense. Zero. And sure enough, I have no reason to have faith in them today. Okay, now let's go back to the, the original discussion yeah. about Colin Kaepernick. And I'm going to ask you, even at your advanced age, I know you need your, your glasses. To <laughs> the use, glasses are use, fly. Use, I actually like but, myself but you in need the glasses. Them. You need them. That's the problem. I'm going for the and GQ. I want to be on the cover of GQ <laughs> magazine. I'm determined. The, the point here is, <laughs> go ahead. I'm asking you to do the eye test. Use the eye test. What did Colin Kaepernick show you against the Chicago Bears in his first start? He's a start? playmaker. He's he just a makes plays everywhere. Uh, he makes plays. Kid. He just he, he makes plays. He doesn't just have an arm. Yeah. He's got a bazooka. Well, let I mean, me just say this. When I think about somebody doing the read option, mm -hmm. that's the kind of stuff I envision. Oh, so we're going just, there. That's what we're going. Well, that well I'm going to leave that out. <laughs> next topic. Oh, that's I'm, right. I just that's leave it. Coming I up just in just a moment. I'm <laughs> just saying. <laughs> there I'm are, just saying. There are more that's than, what a read option looks like. Uh, there, there are more than one way uh -huh. to, to skin a packer. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can do it mm -hmm. that way, or you can do it this other way that we're going to talk about in the next topic. Yeah, okay. yeah we know exactly what you're talking about. But in the end, I think we would all agree that, that Jim Harbaugh was covering a bet he didn't need to cover, right? I mean, th he had the kid. Come on, well, what do your eyes tell you? Just let him have your football team. I, I can wait, make wait, a case. Wait, where does the sentimental stuff with you come from? Since when do you care about dudes' feelings? Oh, it's not fair. Well, and they care about them. I mean, what's up with that? Because when does this happen? Wait. When did this happen with you? See, he does it when he likes to play. Wait, is quarterback not the hardest position to play I'm in not, sports? I'm just saying, but yeah. when, did, uh, when, when were you Mr. Sensitivity? Always. When did this happen? I've always been. When? Calm your heart. Huh? Be when? Heart. I don't have one. <laughs> oh, please. I'm off to see oh, the wizard. <laughs> I'm like, come on yeah. now. I don't, who's this dude? Wait, I don't know you. So, Steve, well, did you say that Kaepernick oh, makes them Super Bowl favorites? I think that it's possible. I think that, listen. I will say this to you. If they're fortunate enough to get back uh, past Atlanta, which I still question, mm. I do believe that they would beat the, the New England Patriots in the Super Bowl.